mouse pad in the description and no this fuck I'm just all right Inca Steppa from Juno Reactor on the album Gods and Monsters on Spotify probably um want to thank uh headphones.com for sending me the out the elex which apparently is no longer a drop thing it's just focals like you know what fuck you we're just gonna keep selling these and they're gonna sell them everywhere so uh yes uh currently using this with my collab cable this is not designed for headphones but i did a thing so now they're headphone cables anyway this is the purple asylum find that in the link tree in the description and we're gonna do some dong dak dak do dongle dak all right shh What we have here is a nice set of headphones. I brought out the Kato's because we haven't seen the Kato's in the hottest of minutes. And we're going to assess really just two dongle decks. I thought I might have had some more to do because I got some IMs uh, recently and they came with these Phantasm um I call this a dongle deck. It's a 4.4. It's a metal barrel. It's really pretty colorful wires. We got red, blue, green, and silver into a 4.4. The problem is, so I have two of them because it came with two IMs. And then <clears throat> these were labeled specifically the names of the IMs. And I didn't know what that meant. I thought they just came with dongle decks. And then on the thing here, it says purple. And over there, it says splendor which is the two IMs it came with. And plugging the Elex, thank you to headphones.com, link to them in the description, into this or this changes the sound. And then I plug into the VMV P2 as like a reference, as that is fucking reference. And I hear what these actually sound like, and then I switch back. So we're not gonna be, like, this is a new thing that's gonna start happening. Because the Splendor is like $229 and the Purple is like $600. But the fact that these come with your IMs and are obviously doing tuning is a whole... This, this is not... This is supersedes reviews to say, watch out. Because there's a lot of companies, and by that I mean like three, that are currently like Moondrop is coming out with IMs and things that have USB-C as a default. And that's because they want to tune in the digital realm. They want to control the aspects of it. And that honestly is fine. But if you take the wire off and you swap it and it doesn't sound like it sounds any good, then that's a problem. So just, just keep that in mind. Obviously those IMs, I have the purple and the splendor. Um, I haven't assessed them yet, but uh, let's hope they sound good without the use of these. I wanted to point this one out because I really like this form factor. Like a lot, like we're gonna get to the dongs, like the full on thick swinging dong right here, um, or more likely the awful one, but not awful. Like you, you, if you've never been to this channel, there's a brand called Awful and it's the worst name and they make great products. So yeah, this is interesting because I would really have liked to have to like use these on an airplane if I'm doing like a trip on my laptop, just plug this in. This basically blends with your, with your 4.4 and that's it. Look, oh, look, it just, just turned your headphone and, and it's got really nice heat shrink. But these modify the fucking sound, which is just something that we're going to have to, in 2024, look out for is companies that are making specific, because you literally can't buy this. I was looking up to see if I could, obviously, if it comes with a thing, it's in its own product. It's got its own little instruction manual. It's got the name. It's by Intuatura. Phantasm, which again, mouse pad. Um, I figured you'd be able to buy this and I would love, I was just assessing the sound. I'm like, these don't sound right. And then I put in the other one, I'm like, oh, oh, they're labeled. Okay, no, they don't sound right at all. So keep an eye out for dongle decks that, um, that twist your dong. I mean, your music, whatever. Um, shout out, by the way, not sponsoring this video, but let's hope that we can get an Anchor sponsorship. Sponsorship of Anchor. Uh, we have 88% on this. I was using my uh, power pack here. I forget which model this is. So yeah, let's link it in the description. This is the Prime 12,000 milliamp hour power bank. And uh, in between running dongle DAC tests, I've been just zapping my phone. And look at this, it comes up with a full screen and it tells me I'm charging at nine watts or 20 watts or 8.9 watts, how long it will charge, 88% remain. And then if you plug in the thing, it'll tell you while well, it's charging how much, you can do two items at the same time. So yeah, I'm just gonna do, I've been told, I've been given the advice Put sponsorships in your video, even if no one's paying you to. It's like dressing for the job you want, not the job you have. Well, do sponsorships 
for the sponsorships you want, not the sponsorships you have. Which is why I was doing all those bio bidet sponsorships. I might still put a bio bidet sponsorship because fuck it, warm water up my ass makes me happy. Um, so this, so this, and this are here to assess these. So the real, the real things we're going to talk about are the very, very gold and extremely, oh fuck, extremely fucking heavy EPZ TP30. This EPZ brand now has IMs. Like, literally, brands go from not existing to... By the way, here's seven things from this company that never existed. Um, and then we're going to do the Awful. And you all know Awful because they make the Performer 5 and the Performer 8. I think there was another Performer in there that wasn't very good. But some of the better IMs that you can get, and they're really particular, and they've got their crossovers worked out, and you could see them. Well, they've made a dongle DAC to compete. Um, this is not the wire from this dongle DAC. The wire from the Awful is actually not Awful at all. Just dropped it on the floor, it's fine. The problem is they sent me the Lightning cable, and I do not iPhone even a little bit. So I'll have to assess this cable by being really well made and thick and look at that fabric and how well it twists like this and here's your otg end out and there's your otg end in and this is the cable you'd get if you have an iphone if you get a usb c to usb c i guess i would complain that this is slightly too long like this is this is this is probably an three quarters of an inch longer than this one and if we compare it to like, this is entirely longer than the entire thing here. So my one complaint about the awful snowy night is that the wire it comes with is a little bit long. That said, it is one of the nicer wires to connect the thing. Like look at the, look at the in innate stiffness of this, but not like bad stiffness. Like, look, you get, you get flexibility in your stiffness. It's very nice. So I can't use that since I don't have an iPhone. So I whipped out the DD Hi-Fi cable, which, um, is also long, but also one of the nicest cable that's ever existed with the combination of stainless steel and brass and gold plated and this thing and uh, and the little pole. That, okay, so this will be my substitute. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about both of them. I'll talk about both of them, then I'll do it going to sound. So, Awful is a terrible name. They should just call it Terrible, but it's A-F-U-L. And in this particular revision, it says Awful Audio Engineering, and audio engineering is one word. Ignore it things happen. Um, we have an interesting shape where it's thicker here for the connectors, and then it goes down. We have a nice pattern printed here. You can't see it till I plug it in, but there is an LED on that. That's going to tell us all sorts of knowledge about the signal source. So you got your USB-C. You have a volume rocker. This is not standardized because on a lot of the ones I have, towards the headphone is positive, but on this one, towards the headphone is negative, so you gotta sort of memorize that. You get your 3.5 and your 4.4. The back says Snowy Night, 32-bit, 768 kilohertz, DSD-256. I wanna know who's running DSD through a dongle portably, because you fucking crazy. So let's put that down for a second. Now let's look at the gold. This is at least twice the weight. And don't think that weight means better. That's that's a that's a thing that you know weight means better. But I prefer, especially if something is hanging off my phone. Like one of my favorite pieces of audio equipment was the dongle DAC. Was the the what's it called three? Well, I can't remember it. The, 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 wow, I'm blanking. But it was very heavy. And but that was like I got past it because of the sound quality on that. Where this is just all right. This is Egyptian diorama gold. And you know how I know that? Because in like fourth grade, I think it was fourth grade, I had to do a diorama and my father helped me and we built a motherfucking pyramid that was two feet high and then the top like nine inches opened and then inside that was a square box and we built the, we built everything and we had the, the sarcophagus and we had to get gold spray paint. And I thought it was so cool. Because, you know, usually gold is yellow, but this was gold metallic spray paint. And it looked precisely like this. USB-C. Again, you have the negative towards the ends. So I guess it's just literally whatever it happens, happens. You get a light here. It's got an interesting texture. It says TP30, 32-bit, 768, DSD 512. Oh, that's even higher DSD than the awful. It's obviously better. It's not. Um, and then you get your 4.4 and your 3.5. Um, I would actually dock it. Like, this is heavier than even the Quest style. 
which is bigger and has glass on it. So that's going down. It has a nice flexible wire. Uh, I, if I have to complain a little bit, which I do, I feel like these heads, the USB-C heads, from here to here is just too long. Like the DD Hi-Fi ones are much shorter and include a, a pseudo strain relief. And the ones from Awful are, even these are much shorter. So you're getting like a, a nice flexible wire, like a super flexible wire, but really thick, like that sucks. Where'd you go? No titty ladies yet, we're playing music. Um, so I'm gonna plug this in. Both of these have high and low gain by pushing the volume buttons down at the same time, or they hit both buttons. Uh, we'll do some uh, quick read through. I, I'm not even gonna tell you what these colors mean, but there are literally, this one's got a very, very small, you have to have like 2010 vision and a microscope to read this. So it tells you what the colors do, red, green, blue, yellow, young and purple apparently it'll turn on the color young if you have pcm 88 and then shang lung well, i have no idea what per what young is the lolly color comes on apparently and then you on this you have blue green red yellow light green purple white and then there's flickering colors to indicate different things as well from the signal lamp. So, great for diagnostics. You're never gonna remember what these things are, so just basically ignore them unless they're flashing red and shit's broken. Um, let's plug in. I've, I've already basically made my assessment of, we'll, we'll just go with the gold one first. We're just gonna do Goldie first. Come here, Goldie. It's like a clock weight, just, just ticking back and forth. We are currently on yellow. Let's see what happens when I play some of the expanse. Does that change it? No, it's still yellow. Um, let me see what this... Okay, so assuming that it's working, you get separate volume controls. Most dongle docks are going to do this nowadays, which is good because it used to be you plugged in a dongle that had volume controls. All it did was fuck with the volume on the phone and it went up and down with the volume on the phone, which is usually 10% increments, which is no good. Now you get the volume on the phone to set the master and then you get to adjust here. I'm going to hit down a fucking lot because both of these units will probably explode these wonderful full cows. Here goes the prayer. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna hold both of them down. Now it's red. I didn't actually hear it get any louder. So it might just be a current adjustment. Right. It's very strange. Usually when you have a high low gain, which this does state it has, you would hear an actual volume change, but I'm just not hearing any step up. It's just changing this instantly from yellow to red. We got some Meow the Jewels, in case you've never heard. If you don't know Run the Jewels, great, fantastic New York-based rap group. And then they were talking with Snoop Dogg in an interview, and they are like, hey, man, you should do a, a cat album, man. And Snoop Dogg was talking about doing a cat album. Might as well do it. And now there's a Meow the Jewels where there's just them remixed over the cat, sound of cats, and it's actually fantastic. So no one wants to hear that song. All right, God is God. Good, good tonality, good bass response, plenty of power. Um, I actually looked up and got the power outputs for these. The Apiza TP30. Do, 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 do. Uh, claims 125 milliwatts at 32 ohms out of the unbalanced 3.5. And then 270 milliwatts, 32 ohms out of the balanced. And the awful is running this is telling me volts rms which i hate when they switch it up tell me watts tell me watts man oh output power 104 to 300 so slightly more powerful on the awful uh prices by the way both of these are really affordable we've got the no that's the purple i am we've got this gold bastard at 121.25 which is very specific. Does it change for Type-C? 
It does not. And the awful at a measly $109.99. So $110 for this, $121.25 for this, but you're getting gold. So I'm not seeing a difference in power output from the high-low, but it's going to be able to power these just fine. We're going to swap to the awful now, which has a much tighter 4.4. See, the Chewbacca was cute and used to walk up and used to pet her and she was so good. And the Drake is just like, I want to be famous. I'm a fucking yell until I'm famous. Let's plug it in. We got blue. We got the, the brightest, biggest blue, but that is only on my phone. I plugged this into my laptop and it turned yellow because it was a different bit rate. So if you're doing different things, it will be different. So now... All right, actually, I'm going to lower. So this is the same deal where that's fixed and this adjusts. And I think you just hold it down. I don't believe either one of these can change tracks, which is unfortunate. I do like... Again, I'm trying to pause the... Put an infrared receiver on my phone, please. Um, neither one will change tracks. Usually, if you double tap a volume, uh, you usually need a third button. And then that becomes play pause, next track last track, or you hold a volume button and then instead of going volume up and down, it'll change tracks. These are strictly volume controls. You still have to interact with the phone to do that. So I'm gonna double press it. It flashed. It's not. See, just like this, it isn't louder. It's just changing the current output. So if you don't know anything about the Elax and it's been a fucking hot minute, these are relatively easy to drive headphones. So we're going to put on much, much harder to drive headphones. And I haven't tested this yet, but this is a review and we, um, we're all about that tungsten life here on Z reviews. So we're going to, this is, this is not going to work. Like I'm doing this just because I want to touch the tungstens right now and show you my purple asylum cable all them, even though they come with, a, with this Viking weave cable and it's a better cable, but, but shh, 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 shh. So that's actually quieter now. Okay. And we're going up. Come on, baby. Maxed out. It's a rave party. I'd say this is 80% of what Tungsten's capable of. You shall see darkness. And this is maxed out. So I'm pretty impressed by that. So let's swap the awful again. Ugh, back, that's tight. That's toit. Back to the TP30. Drop that like it's hot. Although neither one of these really gets that hot. So let's see if this, see this one not showing me, oh, no, 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 no. This one. Okay. Doesn't make a volume difference when I go high or low. Distorts like crazy. 150 ohm load. Not happy. Fine on normal headphones. These are not normal headphones, but super impressed at the awful, not distorting like crazy. In fact, they're, this one might be like 5% louder than this, but unlistenable. So we'll go back. And again, no, no, no one's buying $2,000, extremely hard to drive planars to go mobile, unless you are, in which case, tell me in the comments. Um, so we'll put this back in. So toit. Go back to God is God. Yeah, I would, I wouldn't like assess these headphones, but if you need to show somebody real quick and it was a super quiet environment. Yeah, at least this one's not distorting. But again, you're not gonna use, <laughs> I, I gotta lower this now before I kill the next thing I plug into, which what should we plug into next? All right, we'll go to the Kato's. It's been a, it's been the hottest of minutes since the Kato's have entered my body. So if you don't know, Moondrop Kato's uh, were the goat 
and to some probably still are the GOAT. And if you're looking for more IM reviews, please check out the Inner Fetish channel, which is my dedicated I in here my dedicated review channel. These are these haven't been in my ears so long, they're still using Dakoni tips. Um now we're gonna be going 3.5, and there's no indicator. At least this one has red and yellow to say, hey, I'm on higher gain or different gain. This does not, so we're just gonna plug it in. It's fine. Still maxed out here. Let's go to a different song. One of my favorite shows. Probably nowhere near maximum. So as far as sound, si oh yeah. As far as sound signature goes, the EPZ is fine. It works perfectly. Except when you plug it in directly after an awful, because then you're like, oh, the smoothness and soundstage. This is smoother. This has more soundstage. I don't want to say it has better bass or more bass. I think they're pretty much comparable with that. Do some quick pauses to see if there's any root. Because a lot of times when you pause, it'll shut the amplification off to both save battery and to hide the noise floor. But if you turn it on and off real fast, you'll just hear like a little bit of sh before you shut off, and I don't hear anything. So I'm going to call these pretty goddamn black as far as the how dark the sounds, how dark the noise floor is. I really need to get a track on my FUBAR that is silence, where it's playing a song, but it's playing nothing, and that unlocks all the amplification and doesn't let it hide anything. It's like what V it's what VW doesn't want is to expose their inner hardware. Yeah, the What I would call this is a more refined version of like the Moon River 2. So the Moon River dongle was like that heavy stainless steel moon drop. And it had almost infinite power. It probably could run the double sided to like 90%. But it was so powerful that I was actually afraid to use it on like normal things. Like maybe a big headphone, like the, the ZMFs or something would be fine. But if you're using Kato's, I'd be absolutely terrified because I think that did the volume on the phone think, not 100% sure, and that meant if you accidentally pushed the button like four times, you went 400% volume, and it was just like, ah, so I have it behind me, but I don't use it. This has the same detail, but is smoother and slightly more controllable as far as power goes. Here, hold on. That's high volume or high gain. So yeah, I just can't tell on the um, Elex when it's on high or low, and it's a very slight change. It's like 8%. And it just, things get like a little bit bigger, a little bit brighter, and then down. So you're gonna keep this on low gain. Again, we're coming out of the less powerful 3.5. If I change the wire to a 4.4, you wouldn't even need that much. This is a great default dongle, right? You agree? I agree. Maybe I'll take this one and glue it to my laptop to make this like the sound card of my laptop. Actually, I just realized the term awful snowy night is not a good one. It's like, oh man, it's an awful snowy night. I should have pulled out the Aria Winter and then plugged those into the starry, the, the snowy night. I should go with an entire like nighttime. I should have put Weiss as the background. I got with the full Ice Queen. Yes, I'm listening to Kanye West. What do you want from me? I actually don't know how I have this song. But I've got Kanye. Now I've got the Arcane soundtrack. So the fact that this is this can run your IMs nice, soft, gentle, wide, and then you can plug in whatever fucking whatever headphones I don't Still don't recommend these portable, but whatever headphones and run those. And the best part being, it isn't a trillion pound brick of fucking, like, I cannot explain to you visually how much heavier that is, except for watching that thing spin. Like, I'm not, I, I promise you, I'm trying not to, like, there's a stiffer cable, too. There's a lot of factors in here. But, yeah, no, this, this is a good attempt. It's just fucking too heavy. 
and it does distort on the highest volumes. So fine, it's fine on everything, but this is better on everything, but the but being that the wire is a little bit too long, although it's really nice. I like that little, I like that slight stiffness. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break. Um, and the blue LED is a little bit much, but again, only my phone throws blue LED. My laptop threw a nice yellow LED. And if you fuck around and find out, you might get uh, purple or white or red or green or green flicker. And uh, yeah, all the different variables. So yeah, um, we're going to keep this review short-ish. What are we at? Like 27 minutes? I feel like it's a 27-minute review. Um, links to literally everything in the description, including this desk mat and including our not sponsor sponsor of Anchor and their battery banks, and you hit the button, it shows you 88% in the screen, it's great. Comes with two USB-Cs out. Oh, I also bought these cables, I should link these too. Since I, I was like, I think these are uh, one her, one her, one foot cables. These are great, and if you do this, it doesn't try to charge itself. It, well, it does, it gets really freaked out. It's like, ah, uh, this is not how you make a bomb. Don't do that, unplug one of those. But yeah, no, it's great. Neither one is a charging port. Neither one's an output port. And so, yeah, dongs, dongs are still in. And I was having a discussion earlier. One real quick last point. I was having a discussion with Koji about physical media and CDs. Because if you haven't seen my CD review, please do. Um, if you have, if that's not out yet, it's on Patreon. But we're discussing physical media and streaming services. And Koji really likes his DAPs to have the streaming services built in. And I'm like, why? Phone, dongle. There's your streaming services and your high quality output. DAPs, dedicated DAPs like the Hibbies are for small form factors and you have physical media and you don't need any connections. That's what DAPs are for. But if you're going, if you're a person who likes your Spotify, your title, your fucking Amazon music, here, here it is, everybody. Dear Dan, let's move it down. This is your solution. You buy one of these, you take your phone, you plug it in, you're done. You're an audiophile on the go. Um, yeah, so that's cool. That's in the wallpaper hoard. Patreon and subscribe sir, do support this channel and let you buy things when I'm done with them. Like this EPZ, which is just too heavy for me. And that rhymed, I didn't mean it to rhyme, but yard sales, first to the 10th of every month. I put a bunch of stuff that either has been sitting on the wall for a while, and I'm like, you know what? It's past its prime. Let's give it to someone else so it doesn't just sit there collecting dust. Or if companies send me multiple of things, or if it's something's just, it loses the battle, sell it. Whatever you think this is worth. It's $121 online. You offer me $69, $69. Everyone offers me that. Please don't offer me that. $69, $69. I pay for shipping continental the United States and Canada. Uh, you pay for shipping half the shipping uh, international, and I'll ship it anywhere in the world. Sometimes if it's like a small thing like this, I'll bundle it with like an IEM or something. Because again, in her fetish channel, I do IEMs. As many reviews are on this channel, I do IEMs every third day. So after you see this publicly, tomorrow there'll be a new IEM review. And uh, yeah, Patreon, subscribe star, $5 a month, see reviews early, participate in yard sales, losses, sound demos, and all sound demos that have been erased from YouTube because lawyers. $10 a month, ask me questions directly in the private Patreon chat. So if you have a question about the, hey Zios, I have this, and I have this, and I want to put this, and what about this, and I'm in my kitchen. $10 a month, put you into a chat with 200 people. I'll answer all your questions. You go in there, you ask Zios Pantera. Um, once you're in that chat, you get into a lifetime swap me channel where you can buy, sell, and trade gear just like you're gonna do because your audio files, no one can just stack their walls full of audio equipment like this. Or if you do, you shouldn't and you should sell most of it and live a much happier life. I wanna buy an Ariel Atom and I look at this wall and realize if I traded everything there, I could probably have one. Just imagine that fucking, fucking, your brain is just like, well, I could sell the Abyss Dianas and I could sell the $2,000 Tim Socks and those are $3,000 Stellias. I'm like, ah! My dreams! Or I gotta have a cool looking wall for these videos, which I do for you guys. Ah, don't drop the star, the snowy night. So there's a starry, I should have put the snowy night on the starry night. Fuck! Ruined. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Fuck, so many nights.